soon as you speak in English, you feel uncomfortable. In the starting, in the initial state, I can understand. As soon as you start speaking in English, you feel very hesitation. You feel very discomfort. So it's called life. Life is also discomfort, but we need to accept this, and we need to be happy, habitual of that thing. Life does not give everything automatically. You have to take attempt. You have to do something for gaining something. If you think that food will come to you, it doesn't. So you have to do some work hard, na? I know God has managed all for everybody's food. I can understand. But if you want to do better food, so you have to work hard. Is that it? So speak whatever you know in English. Don't think that you don't know anything. If you think you don't know anything about English, so this is your misconception. English is not a rocket science. English is not a uh, earning money. English is not a learning something specific thing. It is simple language. So speak out. Whatever you know, and nobody can motivate you. Apart from you, nobody can motivate you. So motivate yourself that you can do it. Jai Hind, guys. Today's video is going to be very very outstanding for all of you. Why? Because in this video we will discuss about. a very important topic then guys what is that topic look at how to build confidence in english then guys as we know when when it comes to speaking english so many students or so many people are not able to speak in english then what is the reason behind of it their confidence then guys in this video i will tell you how to build confidence in english communication if you want to speak fluent english or if you want to gain fluency in your communication then please watch this video till the end because by the end you will come to know what is the psychology behind of speaking english then guys first point is this you should concentrate on your thought process i mean to say while speaking in english you should think how to think i want to tell you that so many people while speaking in english they think negatively that's why they are not able to speak in english they consider themselves they are not able to speak in english they advance themselves that they will not be able to speak in english that's the fault so many people who want to speak in english and so many students who want to communicate in english what their first thought you know they think they are not able to speak in english while speaking in in english they think our mind is blank they also think our mind is not having words that's the problem first of all think twice before you think think twice before you think because what you think that you become isn't it so first advice is this whenever you speak in english anywhere of the world whether in your family or at your school or in college first of all your thought process should be positive it means you should be optimist you should never be negative in your life because our words our inner words play very important role in our life 
it also happens in english communication while speaking you should remember one thing you should think positive this is the one advice and it is also one and only advice to speak in english so first thing is that think positive and if you want to build confidence in english communication first of all you first of all you should have what positive thinking and the second thing your attitude you know what what do you mean by attitude attitude means you should not show ego attitude doesn't attitude doesn't mean you should you should show ego attitude means you should you should show your kindness if you are good in english communication or if you are not good in english communication no matter people see your attitude how you behave how you talk how polite you are are you getting everything everything is not english english is made by so many etiquettes so many qualities like so many skills so while speaking in english you should have good attitude you should have positive attitude you should not show your ego i have seen so many people they they know little bit about english but what they show they show their attitude like negative attitude we should have positive attitude while speaking in english it was the second point which can build your confidence and the third point now i'm telling you about the third point third point is your your english power you know what do you mean by english power it means can you speak english with confidence or not it is called your english power look okay. at how to build english power this is the question sir as you can see i am speaking here so i am not speaking with the word meanings i am not having very hyperbole word meanings in my communication but what i have i have english power it means i have stamina to speak in english it is called english power so how can you generate this power by speaking you can generate english power by speaking in english so speak at random whatever topic you have in your life try to translate into english whatever happens in your life day to day life you should try to translate into english then you can build your confidence in speaking english and english is uh, english is uh, not a subject english is a language so speak like a language are you getting guys and as soon as i can understand i can understand as soon as you speak in english you feel uncomfortable in the starting in the initial state i can understand as soon as you start speaking in english you feel very hesitation you feel very discomfort so it's called life life is also discomfort but we need to accept this and we need to be happy or habitual of that thing life does not give everything automatically you have to take attempt you have to do something for gaining something if you think uh, that uh, food will come to you it doesn't so you have to do some work hard na i know god has managed all for everybody's food i can understand but if you want to do better food so you have to work hard is that it so speak whatever you know in english don't think that you don't know anything if you think you don't know anything about english so this is your misconception english is not a rocket science english is not a uh, earning money english is not a learning something specific thing it is simple language so speak out whatever you know 
and nobody can motivate you apart from you nobody can motivate you so motivate yourself that you can do it so what are today's point which i have explained you three points first is th is your thinking process your thought process always be positive while speaking english and the second is what second is your what english power okay you should have english power to speak in english and third is your attitude if you have all these qualities then you can build your confidence in english and speak whatever you want don't think about particular topic think what you know so this is for today and at the end i want to tell you one proverb hope for the best prepare for the worst it is called life you know it is not only a proverb but it is a life lesson what is the life lesson hope for the best and prepare for the worst you should always have hope what everything is going to be all right and if something happens wrong with you so accept it don't complain as we know when people have any problem they start complaining to god or other people they start blaming to other don't do this because you are responsible for your all the result if you are thinking na that guy did wrong with you and that guy did uh, something bad with you it is your misconception you are only who is the responsible for all the result of life so that's it for today jai hind